access to the files. He still was not able to have a contact to his lawyer in the US. And just one week ago, he was able to watch his files. His lawyers have to send the files by post. They are even not able to send him emails because he has no access to computer. So this is a really unusual way for a state of law to keep this whole file to, to what they are doing with uh, Julian Assange. And I have to say, it is shameful. Oh, sorry. It is shameful for Europe to witness this courageous investigative journalist in a courtroom in London here. Instead of going to US interests, the British government and the EU must both reject this extraterritorial political persecution. Today it is Julian Assange and tomorrow it may well affect any other journalist who has published truthful information in the public interest that does not agree with the US government's narrative. Julian Assange is already suffering grave health problems and you could see he has lost a lot of weight since I met him last year in the embassy, in the Ecuadorian embassy. And each day that he remains in prison, prison only exacerbates his already precarious condition. I'm appealing therefore to the British government to release Julian Assange from prison at once. This appeal comes not only from me or us here in front of the court, Many people around the world are appealing to the British government, yes. human rights organizations, journalists, celebrities and parliamentarians are asking for the release of Julian Assange and are campaigning against his extradition to the US. Even Australian politicians now from across the political spectrum, among them former Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce and former Foreign Minister Bob Carr, have publicly expressed their opposition to the extradition proceedings due to concerns over the extraterritorial nature of the charges. Concerns about Assange's health and well-being have intensified in recent weeks, both in Europe and his home country of Australia. On behalf of the left parliamentary group in Germany, I demand the immediate release of Julian Assange and reject his extradition to the US in the strongest terms. Julian Assange sits in custody at Belmont's maximum security prison pending extradition as a journalist who uncovered US war crimes. The persecution of Julian Assange sets a dangerous precedent which would see journalists all over the world, including EU citizens, at risk of extradition to the US. It's, all, it's up to all of us to prevent this dangerous precedent of extrajudicial prosecution on European soil. I call upon the federal government of Germany to condemn this attack by the USA on journalists on the freedom of press and on democracy and to offer Julian Assange political asylum either in Germany or as part of a European initiative. This is urgently needed. The federal government and the EU member states are obligated by international agreements including the Geneva Convention relating to the status of refugees the International Convenience of Civil and Political Rights and the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union to protect Assange from further political persecution and grant him asylum to prevent his extradition to the US. The, the left party will organize a hearing on this matter at the German Bundestag on 27th of November. Freedom for Julian Assange Chelsea Benning and Edward Snowden. Thank you very much. Hi, 
everyone. I just want to point out, I think that was Heike Hansel from the, um, from the left party in Germany. just want to say, a German politician turned up. No British, no British politicians, but a German politician turned up. What does that say about our politicians and how they want to stand up for true democracy and the freedom of the press and free speech? What does that say about them? That none of them turned up, but a German politician did.